morning. <laughs> Sorry, having a few technical difficulties here this morning. The uh, My phone decided it doesn't want to rotate to landscape. So for the digital recording. So just a few minutes late. Um, like I said, of course, my first day back, technical difficulties. Um, as Pastor said the other day, the new Christ in our homes are here. We'll get them out um, today so you can pick them up on Sunday or have someone pick a copy up for you and deliver it. So today's reading is from Isaiah 32, and we'll start reading. Join me in your follow along in your Bible or just sit back and listen. See. A king will reign in righteousness, and princes will rule with justice. Each will be like a hiding place from the wind, a covert from the tempest. Like streams of water in a dry place, like the shade of a great rock in a weary land. Then the eyes of those who have sight will not be closed, and the ears of those who have hearing will listen. The minds of the rash will have good judgment, and the tongues of stammerers will speak readily and distinctly. A fool will no longer be called noble, nor a villain said to be honorable. For fools speak folly, and their minds plot iniquity, to practice ungodliness, to utter error concerning the Lord, to leave the craving of the hungry unsatisfied, and to deprive the thirsty of drink." The villainies of villains are evil. They despise wicked devices to ruin the poor with lying words, even when the plea of the needy is right. But those who are noble plan noble things, and by noble things they stand. The devotion today is entitled Hope for Righteousness and Peace. On verse 1, see a king will reign in righteousness and princes will rule with justice. When a government's policies are characterized by injustice and leaders are unrighteous, people in every age hope for a better world and want to make visions like this one in Isaiah 32 their own. My niece Sarah was a magistrate for several years. Her job often involved working with families in turmoil. On the desk of her mentor, another Christian judge, was a help, helpful note titled, Rules for Being a Good Judge. Stay humble. Pray. Don't be lazy. Keep a calm demeanor. Sarah told me that remaining calm was especially important when people were angry or disrespectful in her courtroom. In working toward being a righteous judge, she practiced mindfulness and prayed that she could listen to each person in front of her. Her hope was to make the best possible decision in each case for the sake of the children or family involved. May Isaiah's prediction of righteous leaders be fulfilled in our time. Please join me in the prayer. Lord Jesus, grant your justice and peace in our communities, homes, and hearts. And throughout your day, the prayer concern is for safe homes and schools for children, especially in this time of COVID still. So thank you for joining me. Um, join us for worship. Sunday digitally at 9 a.m. on most on Facebook and YouTube. Um, they'll be on the lawn at nine o'clock and in the sanctuary at 10:15 this Sunday. So um, thank you for joining me for this opportunity to dwell in God's word and hear things and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Blessings on your day and farewell.